Howdy there, we're going to be taking a look at the editor module in this video, and that is the module you want to use if you're going to be manipulating with reality or working with layers and masks. If we were to compare the develop module and the editor module, the develop module is what you're going to be using for your basic edits with your photographs, whereas the editor module is there for more intensive edits, manipulating reality, placing objects into backgrounds, working with layers and masks, and you get the point. So let's jump in and see what we can do. To access the editor module, the easiest way to get started is by selecting a photograph and then clicking on the editor module line up here in the top right corner. Just like you would in Manager or the Develop module, you'll find a histogram here and all the tools you'd expect, like cropping, retouching, selection tools, and more. Most of these icons represent several other tools that you'll find when you click the main icons open. For example, when you open the selection tools, you'll find several variations of how you can isolate things within the photo. As mentioned earlier, the editor module allows you to play with layers, which essentially is images stacked on top of one another. So for example, you can add various objects into a photograph and create sort of a sandwich, and these objects are all mashed together in the final product. To add another layer, simply click here on Add Layer, which will generate an empty layer. You can use this to do some retouching, for example, but if we want something more creative from the get-go, like a layer with a photograph or text, then we have to click on this drop-down menu. Let's test out the paste from file, and this is where we'll use another photograph as an additional layer. For this example, let's use a file that's made up of, let's say, these flying birds here, and add that to the already existing rock formation photograph. It's cheesy, but you'll get the point. Because this photo or file is a PNG file, it's transparent and super easy to incorporate as a layer onto our existing photograph. All right, so let's play around with the sizing of these birds. Naturally, if you want them to appear closer to the camera, we'll expand the file, uh, but if we want them to appear further off in the distance, we'll have to decrease the size of the box, like so. If we'd like to change the settings, like for example, exposure in this file, We'll find those when we click on the Adjustments button here. And for this example, I'd like to blur the birds a little into the background to make them look more believable and realistic. So let's click here on the Blur Adjustment. To try and achieve a more natural look and make it look like the birds are actually in motion, let's select the directional type and set the direction to a 90 degree angle. And since we're done, we can now hit Apply. If we want to access any of these adjustment tools faster next time, we can click on the star here to add them to our favorite list, which is up top. We can also click and drag the various tools around into the order we actually prefer. We also have the option to use keyboard shortcuts throughout Zonar Photo Studio X, which will speed up your workflow. The keyboard shortcut reveals itself when you just hover above the tool with your mouse. Masks are another tool we have at our disposal in the editor module, and they're used to cover or reveal various parts of our layers in the final version or product of our photo. If you want to add a mask, simply right click on our layer, go to mask, and find the options we have there. We'll also go over that in detail in additional videos. After we're done with our editing, it's time to save our work. If we've used more than one layer, it'll be necessary to click on merge layers before we can actually save our file. We also have another option, where we can leave the project unfinished and return to it later. For this option, we'll save it as a .zps file. If we work with a raw file in the editor module, and then we try to save it, we'll find out that we have to save the file as another format because naturally, it's not possible to store information on a raw file. Okay, now just like with anything else, it's a matter of repeating what you've learned here today, Go into the editor module, start playing around with it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one. Bye.